How's it going everyone? I am back here with another iOS 18 beta video. <clears throat> and this video is of the newly released iOS 18 release candidate version, which was just released today, uh, Monday, September 9th. Uh, and today was also the uh, iPhone 16 event, or keynote rather, uh, <clears throat> basically announcing the new iPhones for the year as well as the new Apple Watches and some other things like that. But what was also released is the release candidate of iOS 18. So basically this version is going to be the closest to what the final release is going to be. Uh, there may be one more release before the final or the final may be the final release. Um, but if we go into settings, and go to the build number, you can see that the build number no longer ends in a letter. So currently it is 22A3354. Uh, previously in beta eight, we had a build number that ended in the letter A, but in this version, there is no letter after the final number, which signifies that this version is either going to be the final version or maybe one version after this. But in any case, this is going to be essentially what the final release is going to look like. Also, the size of the download for this particular update was quite large. Uh, for this particular phone, uh, this is the second generation iPhone SE, uh, came in at just over six gigabytes. And the reason for that is because we, whenever you go from a true beta version of the software and go over to essentially the final release we're essentially needing to reinstall the entire operating system so you're not just getting the incremental update but anyway moving on there is not that many changes in this particular version uh, but there is one very very notable and welcome new feature and it has to do with video recording so if we go into the camera app, uh, you can see my desk here. Uh, and if we go over into video mode, and if we start recording a video, you can now see we have a pause button on the lower left-hand corner. And basically what that allows you to do now is you can be recording a video and pause and start the video as many times as you want and or need while recording a video which is incredibly nice to have if you're wanting to say reframe your video or uh, video record part of something and pause it and then start recording uh, something else but not have to ha uh, edit the two sections uh, later in a video editing app this allows you to just do that and it merges those two video clips automatically together so you can see i can hit the pause button you can see now that pause button turns into a big red uh, playback button, rather, or record button. And you get the word paused uh, up just below your t uh, record time, which is super nice. And then again, if you hit the uh, where the pause button is, it starts recording again. And the time at the top starts uh, continuing on. And you can pause it again, start it again, and then you can hit your recording and stop it. So that is a pretty, really cool feature and is a very, very welcome feature. And it's definitely something that I'm gonna be using quite often, actually. Uh, just, it mitigates a lot of the post-production editing time. Uh, if you're wanting to just record two separate video clips, but have them merged into one, uh, this is gonna help out with that immensely. Um, the next thing is not a really big change, and it's not actually something that I can particularly show but uh, with the wallpapers, uh, the iPhone 15 Pro wallpapers have now officially come back. Uh, so you can now, if you have a iPhone 15 Pro phone, uh, iPhone, you can now select the dedicated wallpapers for that generation of iPhone now. Uh, for whatever reason, those particular wallpapers have been missing for the last several beta versions of iOS 18. I do not know why, uh, but they're back now, which is great. 
And also the other thing that had returned is the iOS 18 wallpapers. So those were also missing within the last couple of betas. Again, not entirely sure why those disappeared, but again, those are also back, which is great. Um, one thing that's still a bug, uh, for whatever reason, uh, that has not been fixed is in the display and brightness section here. You can see under the light and dark mode toggles, the wallpapers, uh, on the little icons there are still depicting that of the iOS 17 wallpaper, which is really strange considering that this is the release candidate and that this is more or less the final version. So I don't know why that is. Maybe that'll get fixed by the official final release, uh, which should uh, release by, I believe, the end of next week, uh, around the 20th of September. But yeah, really strange that this is still something that has not been remedied. Uh, next up is involving the splash screens for apps. So when you open an app for the first time, uh, you'll get a splash screen and there's a lot of splash screens or a lot of apps rather uh, that now have splash screens uh, implemented into them. So when you have a new iPhone and you're uh, first running iOS 18, uh, you'll see a bunch of different splash screens for various built-in apps. And as you can see here, we just had a couple of splash screens to show up. One back there. That and then one right here that's introducing the hikes and custom routes. And then you hit continue and goes straight into the maps. And if we go into voice memos, you can see voice memos also presents a bit of a splash screen. Um, another bug fix is standby mode. Again, again, standby mode has seemingly been weirdly off and on in terms of functionality over the last several betas. But in this particular re release candidate version, uh, the standby mode is a lot more stable, way, way more stable in terms of using it and editing the various features uh, within it, uh, which is great and is expected uh, because, again, this is release candidate, so it's nice uh, that that is now hopefully going to stay stable. And lastly, the overall performance of the operating system, uh, even with it being installed on this particular uh, phone, a relatively old iPhone, again being the second generation SE, uh, it seems to run and perform fairly well. Uh, so you see scrolling back and forth through the different app pages is really quick and smooth. No issues there. Going into Spotlight, pretty smooth. Doesn't seem to kind of glitch too bad. Uh, there are some areas that will tend to load fairly slow. So if I go, let's say one area is the wallpaper selector. So if I go in to change the wallpaper here and say add a new one um actually it loaded pretty quick that time so that's good uh usually this menu here uh for selecting a new wallpaper loads very very slow for me um it could have just been that i had been in there previously and it was pre-loaded uh, but typically this menu is pretty slow and is also pretty slow on even newer iphones so that's not uh, only with this old hardware so for some reason, that particular menu is not uh, pretty fast, uh, not great to navigate. Um, but yeah, okay, anyway, so that is effectively it for this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. It greatly helps out the channel. Hit that like button as well. Let's the uh, YouTube algorithm know that you are enjoying my content and to recommend my videos to more people. And also, if you have any questions regarding this particular video, uh, drop those down below and yes with that all being said i will see you guys in the next one